Hi, I'm Silvio, and this is part 5 of Do It Yourself Hot Wire Styrofoam Catheter. This mini series deserves at least a worthy conclusion. I'm not talking about victory songs or fireworks, I'm talking about giving the cutter the power to cut through styrofoam. I'm talking about giving it life and finally scream like Gene Wilder did in 1974. It could work! Hi guys, welcome again. Finally, the last part of this mini-series. Let's proceed step by step, uh, as I only need to do the wiring. I only need to finish and copy exactly what I did here, but I will also need to modify it a little bit. So, let's start how this work. Uh, this work simply like this. There is the input 220 volt in my case, maybe 110 volts uh, for you, so I will need to bring uh, power to the cutter. I will need a power cord connected to the um, styrofoam cutter. As uh, I've told you uh, during the last part, I'm going this year with this solution here. Power connector, one right, one left of the middle here, one right and one left. I need to bring the power cord here. Let me just do the power cord. I will use obviously a male connector. Here I have the male connector. I will use some wires. I will use some electrical wire and uh, I will use also a power plug. Here I have a power plug. So let me just uh, build everything very quickly. <laughs> Done. So this will be connected to the power source there, to the uh, walls, uh, wall socket there. I will connect it to the wall socket there. And this one will go in through here. Okay. And this is done. Now let me show you where I'm going. So it's like I was there with the power connector there. Now, from the power connector, I'm going here. I'm going here to this point here. So I'm entering the AC adapter. Why? Simply because I need to uh, bring a lower voltage to the system. Let me just explain. If I use uh, 220 volt in my case or 120 or 110 or whatever you have in your country, it will be too high. And if I connect directly the power connector to the plus and minus to both sides of this wire here in order to have 
the power directly connected to the nichrome wire that will be there. First, it will make the wire, the nichrome wire, incandescent, red incandescent, and then it will break in just a few uh, seconds, maybe just one second, because it is uh, too thin, the nichrome wire is too thin to, so to support. Uh, as much voltage as I'm bringing. Second, I risk electrocution, even if it's not just the voltage that causes uh, uh, electrocution, but also the amps, but the amperes, the amps. But I'm not, I don't want to do uh, a lesson about that. Uh, so I was th uh, saying I need to bring down the voltage and I will use I will reuse because I'm not. Uh, I have no intention to uh, mm, trash all the uh, connectors I have here, all the uh, components I have here. So I will reuse this uh, AC adapter, one of my first AC adapters from uh, an old um, laptop I had in past. So this is uh, an AC adapter that uh, transforms um, 220 volts to um, 12 volts. So I will bring 12 volts to the entire system, but it also brings maximum 5 amps. 5 amps mean a very good amount of power to the system. So. I will reuse this one in the same way I use it here. Maybe I'm not. I will not use some uh, zip ties like I used uh, there. But I will surely dismount the AC adapter here and reuse it. So now let me just show you how it will work. I need to bring uh, the power connector towards the. Uh, the AC adapter exactly the same way then the C adapter go right there through it right into this uh, cable uh, cable connector there wire connector there so let me just unmount this mantle uh, whatever you want it this one let me just open this okay there then same thing I will do with this side here and let's just observe how I use a did blue connected to red uh, brown connected to black almost the same color uh, blue, red, brown, black. So here instead I have this section here. So I have no color with black, white with red. So white, red, blue, red. Now this is done there. I simply need to cut some zip tie there one here this one I can leave it there I can cut it there this is gold this two and this two so here we have the AC adapter okay so here I have the AC adapter um, and I will use it right now. Uh, previously I've used those two uh, brackets there and uh, screw them uh, to the uh, wood there. Uh, they are a little heavy. So let me just show you what I will uh, use. So I will use these zip ties here instead. If they are sweated, let me just, I don't know yet if they are sweated. Uh, no, they are not sweated. Okay. Okay. 
no i can't use them so because not not for the ac adapter at least so plan b here is plan b i will use this uh, this base there to connect the zip ties i will have them and they also have a hole there so i can use also uh, here let me just show you here i have a hole so i can use some screw to secure them uh, better to the uh, wood so let me just have a couple of them a couple of them right and they have a uh, tape and uh, they have tape so I will remove the protection and they will uh, stitch to the wood they will stick sorry to the wood those are stickers not stitchers sorry <laughs> This is done. Now I will need to connect red with blue, black with brown. There. Maybe there. I need to have this same situation here where I have the in and there. Let's do the same thing here. And this is done. I will adjust everything when I'm done. So this side, okay, this side. Here. Okay, this side was here. This side was connected here. No, sorry. This side was connected here to the switch. So I will need to have the switch, but I want the switch in the front, and I will also. I will. Uh, I want also the potentiometer to the front so for now let me just add the switch and the potentiometer I've uh, said last time that I will use these as front here these as front there all right then I will have oars and everything else so uh, let's go to the other side for now because i need to fix the front here
So it has been a little longer than I thought because uh, I had some problem there but with, with this kind of uh, uh, work it happens and so now everything is fixed where it needs to be fixed. Let's move on. I need, as I said, the potentiometer there. I need uh, it to be fixed. So let's just remove there this then i will need to remove let's just see how thin it is this piece of uh, plywood there so most certainly let me just remove this here i will need some other tool there this one too small this one maybe it is good yes this one is good let me just remove the potentiometer from there let's put aside getting out alive getting out alive writing letters in the sand lost to all
I couldn't be more right in the middle. There, I measured correctly this time. So, let's go. Let me bring some screw there. I don't want to lose any of them, so let me just have this container here. Good. Let me just start here. There. Uh, screwdriver. The little one. Here I'm going. The little one. Let me just check. No. No way. I need a screwing tool. Let me just check which one. This one, no. This one, no. This one. There. Second screw. There. Now let's check where I am. I just need the hole there. Okay, right in the middle. Good. Another screw. And another one. There. Darkness of the light. The darkness of the light. The darkness of the light. Okay guys, it is done. So what I had, I had a nut there, a self-blocking nut in order to get it more stable. You can see that it is more stable. And now you can see that each click is off, on, maximum, then backward, off. So I will have it checked, but it is working. Okay. And this is done. Let me just remove there. Now, I need the switch. Maybe you got time.
and I'm here. So this will be connected to the motor control there to the power control. Let me just bring it there together. And let me just do it right there. black and red there negative and positive there let me check if it works let me check if it works there let me connect uh, here so connected let me check green there let me check here red there okay it's working on So guys, I, I had to make a long pose because I had the fatigue switch. This one, the uh, rocker switch I had used until yesterday with the LED inside was defective. Uh, how to use a two-prong switch? You need to connect both negative coming from the AC adapter and the negative that will be connected to the motor control to this brass colored uh, prong there. Then input from the AC adapter here, input positive, input red here in the middle, then red output here going towards the uh, motor control. Okay, so uh, both the blacks here then black then black two blacks here then input red then output red and uh, one black here is going there and one the positive is going there but i will get it sooner but i switched to a two prong switch the two prong switch switch doesn't two prong rocker switch sorry doesn't need positive and negative. It's just uh, uh, a simple uh, switch that will interrupt uh, just one side, just the positive. So, both negative are here. The negative from AC adapter, yes, I could have not used this connector here and gone straight to the motor control here, but I have I hadn't enough long uh, cable. I prefer to do this in order to uh, show you that you would have had uh, both blacks from the power source and towards the uh, motor control connected together. Then here I have the positive. The positive coming from the power source from the AC adapter getting inside the uh, the uh, rocker switch coming out and going to the control motor let's check i have here my uh, <laughs> my tester here uh, it is switched on let's check the voltage that i have here so positive here negative here i have 12 volts let's see you have 12 volts then here too you have 12 volts you can see that you still have 12 volts there now the switch is on off here see zero off so here from both sides i won't have any voltage at all or I 
I switch off and black and red and I don't have any voltage at all let me switch it on and I will have 12 volts here so it works no more lead but it works and so I can remove it right here and it is good now I can have it there good there you can see that the hole is very well suited for it positive off on off on off okay and here i have the connectors there oh by the way this time i don't i haven't told you but i've used this connector instead of uh, ironing uh, them to the um, prong switch to the rocker switch sorry so i went i went this way i connected the uh, wire inside then i press it there and then i've connected the wires in this way so if i need to remove the switch i can remove easily the connector there you can see that it is connected now i can remove it very very quickly so how to use this connector here simply you just need uh, some wires there okay you get the wire inside the hole through the hole there then you go right there one and two and it is connected there and it is connected then uh, you take the the rocker switch and you plug it inside so uh, that's all for now let me do just a break then i will continue with the remaining things but very very little things to do okay bye welcome again guys uh, here i am uh, a few hours later no it's uh, actually is the morning after and uh, where was i i was right here i had just finished uh, placing uh, correctly the uh, switch the power switch here the new power switch as i told you and now what i still need to do i still uh, need to place the uh, motor controller, the power controller, the voltage controller here and the support for uh, getting uh, the uh, nichrome wire when I want it to be. So let's go toward the old version there.
this one I think I will use this one and let me check for a second if I have enough space there I don't think so I don't think so I'm testing right now sorry but I need to be sure of something before going ahead if I have here no I will not be able to use this solution if I'm going there I will need to use yes I, I am I still want to use this solution Now, this is done. It will be uh, understandable just in a few seconds. Let me bring some other things. Here I have in the corner. Here. Yes. Those blue connector here. Promise you I will clean before my uh, outro there. I will clean everything. But right now, I need to be as quick as possible. Okay, okay, let me see if I am there. Yes, I am. So, from this side, let me just measure something I need. Yes, I need some cable there that will go up through the hole and then will be connected right there. So let me just have some red wire. Here I have the old one, but I prefer to change the wiring. I think it's enough and I will change the wire there okay from this side here I will use this uh, connector here. Okay, same principle as before. Let me just squeeze it there. One here. One there one there I've cut it it sorry shit happens sorry for my bad language what's your language uh, 
blah 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 another one please here I have there and there okay connected let me go this side right here this is stainless steel so it will conduct electricity Now, I need a nut and a small washer. output there let me check if I can go shorter yes I can go shorter I can go shorter I can go shorter. There. Okay, second one here, connected right there, I will get some other things there once I've checked it. So <clears throat> now I went here, okay, this is the other side of the cable that will be connected to the nicro one here and one there I still need to get it there if I go like this 
directly it will work and I will have just the power switch here off and on to control everything okay I will just have it but I want this connector here this is the pedal switch the foot switch that will prevent me for <laughs> overcutting or undercutting the uh, the styrofoam so I will need this how it will work yes I have positive and negative but the foot switch the pedal switch act exactly as the rocker switch here it simply uh, open or close the circuit between the same wire in this case positive let me bring the pedal switch here here I have the pedal switch with three wires red white and black very confusing for many people also for me at the beginning and here I have the switch you have to use absolutely the red then you have to choose with white and black if you use white and black the circuit will be uh, closed at all time close what does it mean that the, the, the voltage the current the electricity will get through the circuit through the system constantly until you you switch the foot you put the foot on the switch then it open the circuit and uh, the, the, the current will stop the electricity will stop uh, flowing through the system if you use red and white the circuit will be opened at all time until you push the foot switch at this time the circuit is closed and the electricity will uh, get through it why we use open and close it it's like to have one side let me just get a clean spot <laughs> but it's hard to find let me just okay if you use uh, red plus white you have this situation so uh, the electricity the, the, the voltage the electricity will come through here then it will not go over because the switch is open the circuit is open so when you push when you push the switch the, the switch the foot switch the pedal switch these these and here goes towards this point here so it closed the circuit and the electricity can flow through it the other one if you use red plus black it is the opposite situation you have here you have here and you have here constantly the circuit is closed it is closed so the current the, the electricity the voltage will constantly flow through the circuit but when you push on the pedal switch this point tend to get up so it will open the circuit and the flow will stop 
very quickly done, very badly exp uh, uh, explanation, very bad explanation, but it is how we call a closed circuit or an open circuit. So I need uh, to have uh, the electricity getting through the system only when I push the uh, pedal switch, the foot switch. So I will use red and white. And how it works? It's like to have the same cable here and the same cable here. Uh, let's just, if I use this one and this one, it's like using this situation here with red and red getting to the same point and the switch that will connect these two points. If I use those two points, it is the same cable, but the same color. But when I apply uh, on the foot switch, it will detach the two cables. So don't be confused by the uh, wire color. It is all the same uh, cable, all the same wire that goes through red, goes there, click and then come out with white and the other one is red, go down and come out with uh, black. Very confusing, I know, but it is the standard with the foot switch, with the pedal switch. So guys, after a very, very, very quick cleaning, uh, because I need to finish this project right now, what I still need to do, I need to connect this side to the, this side of the uh, wiring system to the nichrome that will connect down there. And I will use I will use this bracket you have already seen me preparing last uh, time. Okay, I will use this to, this to calibrate the center and everything. Okay, I will use this to calibrate. Okay, so now what I will need then something more. Let me just insert for now three. Uh, T-nuts in there. You have already seen me using them. So let me just insert those three T-nuts in there. One gone wrong. The other side, please. Two and three. Okay. And let me just use this in order to get there. Let me just use this two there. Okay, I will use this two. Let me check with two with two. This one will not be good. Let me change with this one and some washer maybe. Yes, 
let me use this washer here and I will connect it there and this will help me get the nichrome where I want it to be then I will screw down no okay I need to wash both sides another washer here two washers here there second washer now it's fixed so then I will use it there but I will also need need a quick release system that will help me slide it and get the tension here because I need it to be tensioned I need the, the nichrome to be tensioned so I will use this to get there and then have the tension that I need there this is uh, just an example of what I will need maybe i need to go higher so now uh, what i will need to do i will need to create a tensioner here for the nichrome and add the nichrome there So guys, I had to change uh, my plan uh, on the way, okay? So let's talk about the spring. Let me use this. This is used to uh, connect together some uh, um, steel or uh, iron uh, cables together. There is a system of uh, screw and nut with a 90 degree hole in there. The 90 degree hole in there will held down if I place my nichrome in there. Okay, I have my nichrome in there, then I will screw the bolt up to the end there and the bolt and it is fixed. I can uh, cut it but it is very well fixed inside. Okay, so I will use this system here. Let me just reattach everything there. No, this way. Good. So now I'm going this way. Then I'm going. This need to be filed a little bit. Once again here okay the system will work this way here I have the other hand here okay no
not get through now it gets through and the tensioner will be completed with the nichrome in there and then the screw the nut the bolt in there okay and this will be tensioned a little bit there and it will be tensioned so let me just add one more washer there the tensioner then this and here with the nichrome wire well tensioned here and from the other side so here we go to inside here there everything will be tensioned as it should be now let me add the nichrome wire okay So, sorry, I needed to change the battery. Let me go there. Okay, let me go there. Now, let me prepare everything here. Let me go inside. There. Then I'm going here, okay, and I will get through it up there. If I haven't seen anything, I will go. Sorry, couldn't get through <laughs> simply because the bolt was already tightened. there and there okay let me just tension it a little bit a little more Okay, and it is tensioned. Now I can even get here a little bit, of course. Okay, if I want to release it, I simply need to undo it, and I go the other way there, and it is untensioned. If I want even more tensioned, I can get it more tensioned okay guys so now it is in the middle i still need to have this connection 
done as always i will use this time the same connection type i've used here okay i will redo the same the same exact I think we are good. I don't want to scream yet, as I promised, but let me go and take some piece of uh, styrofoam. Be right back. Okay. Okay, I'm back with some piece of styrofoam. Let me first. Okay, now I can't go further. You can see that I have a problem and I knew I will have to do something. Here, you will see that I cannot insert inside the T-nuts inside there. Okay, because I want to have a little uh, notch there, a little groove. I will need to add a little groove. So let me just add a little groove there okay this one is too big let me go this one here I don't know if I will be able to do it yes I will be able to do it so now there and there okay guys uh, good let me go with some tool i will need to take okay this time i will go with this tool that will help me getting the the notch the grooves done there One
Okay guys I still need to do some refinements but let's go I still need a way to measure everything but let's say I'm going Fifty there. And fifty there. Okay, guys. Let's see if I work correctly. The nichrom just cut it, it was too tensioned, okay? The nichrom wire was too tensioned. I needed to redo it. Sorry guys, the nichrom wire was too tensioned and uh, it uh, broke and I need to replace it. Now, let me check if this one is perfectly vertical you can see that it is vertical there okay guys this is in historical moment let me get uh, some uh, some styrofoam okay here i have some styrofoam okay let me just go ahead let me switch on let me put to max and there i can't cut but if i go with the pedal with the foot switch there and then go forward there done cutted it could work oh finally <laughs> i needed to scream it sorry guys my bad but i needed to scream it loudly Okay, and you can see that it is almost smooth, but if I uh, take off my foot from the uh, pedal switch, here again, tuck, there, I can't. Now, switch off, pedal switch it on, and nothing happens there. So I need to switch on here. Oof. Then, some other uh, thickness. This is original, this is original. So never been cutted. It's there we go. Nothing happened. So I push the foot switch, the pedal switch, then I go straight forward. Tac done. Fatto. Voila. And it is pretty pretty smooth in comparison um in comp mm, if I compare it with my previous version it is very smooth you can see that it is very smooth let's just measure for a moment uh, what i've cut because i've cut right there through there okay this was done with my previous version you can see that it is not so smooth here it is very smooth let me just take my my ruler here i have my ruler and let's check here okay the ruler is here so here i have 3.4 here i have 3.4 here i have 3.4 millimeters the other side here i have but these has oh, have already been cutted so i can be sure this is 4.3 here i have 4 because this is not the original cut there okay so 
with some more thickness. Let's go with some more thickness. The original, uh, this was an 11, I think. Yes, 11 centimeters. So here I am with the maximum thickness possible. Okay, so let's go there. Tuck. This time reverse mode there. And I slide it against my guide there. And done. There. Smooth very 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 smooth you can see it that it is i have nothing it is very smooth there so once again this time here i'm getting here done there Let's move forward a little bit the connection there in order to get the wire a little bit hotter and let's go once again. There, cut it, smooth, perfectly done, okay. Uh, do you want to exaggerate Lex? Let's exaggerate. This is uh, 12 also. Yes, let me choose an angle. Yes, this one is vertical there. Then I will also go this way and then this way almost to the max and i'm going ahead let's go there there cutted everything has been cutted okay so I have no foot uh, on the. Uh, I have no. My feet is not on the foot on the pedal switch on the foot switch, and I've touched it. Without the security, I would have burned myself. But now I can touch it without problems. Where is the pit that I the piece that I've cutted? You can see that I have here the X that was on top of it. The X there. So this one is the original form. Let's measure it once again. Here I have 3.4, 3.4, and 3.4. Perfectly st straight cut. Let me just measure here 3.4. You can see that I have, it is at 3.6, so I have 2 millimeters. I'm checking the distance between, let me use this one, it is better, because I can go there. Okay, this is 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 32, uh, 32 millimeters there, almost 32 millimeters. If I check the distance between here and there, I have one centimeters, I have 10 millimeters. So if I'm measuring right there, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, the, the two, 2 millimeters by 2 millimeters, this is 32 millimeters, so when I'm at 32 millimeters, I'm cutting, I'm cutting 34 millimeters, okay, I'm cutting 34 millimeters, I am 32 millimeters from here, but I cut. I will cut 34 millimeters. It is uh, obviously 
uh, it's always like that you need to calibrate the, th the cutting in the, with that function there 32 will cut 34 so I will cut two more uh, millimeters okay and that's all guys I think that's all for now no not entirely done I still need to make uh, some uh, sorry I still need to make uh, some adjustments not really some adjustments but uh, some uh, thing that will help me get uh, through it more uh, uh, th but something that will help me cut even more precisely I need some ruler here and I need some ruler there okay in order to have the same dimension so let me just mark something there Here I am, uh, guys. Uh, sorry, I will probably need uh, to hide the brand in here. So, what are these? Those are some paper rulers that you can find anywhere in every uh, store, in every big store. And I don't know where you <laughs> go generally, but if it is a big store that will sell. Um, hardware or um, appliances or kitchen appliances or uh, I don't know everything you can find I can't I can't uh, make names you know you will find some of them so what I will need to do I will need to cut it then I will glue it there starting from two millimeters okay and then I will glue it there, right there. This will help me go with a ruler. Or you can buy online a paper ruler, a sticky paper ruler. I will probably uh, insert a link when I will bring together my document with all you need to have on hand to make this project. Okay? So let me start with this thing let me cut it Let's say I need a piece of eight centimeters and eight centimeters. And 
there eight centimeters there eight centimeters let me have no let me have a straight piece there yes this one so I switch on nothing happens I'm going there and let's go Okay, I've stopped it. Let me have the ruler. Here. Here we go. I've said eight centimeters. Here I have eight centimeters. Here I have eight centimeters. Here I have eight centimeters. So it is calibrated correctly. Everything is done. Everything is complete. And uh, this is the end. Let me just erase something here. Okay. With the eraser, I don't need the lines anymore. Okay. Okay. Here too. So okay, switch off. And that's all guys. See you in just a few seconds for the outro. But first I need to clean all this mess. See you. Gene Wilder was right when he said it could work and was right again when he said it is alive. This mini series has been a little bumpy but all my projects are like that. You might get the impression that I am improvising but I am just always adapting to the situation I am facing. This was absolutely the first attempt to the new version of the Syrophone Cutter. I like to show you the reality with all my flows, not the lie of the perfect project because it is the fifth, seventh, tenth time I am attempting to do it. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and, if you wish, see you next time.